My name is Edward Echarup Watson. Jensen advertised for a construction manager in their local fabrications, and I applied for that job. After the interview, they told me about this uh, training program if I would like to join and also pursue my career in the oil and gas industry. I agreed, I applied, and went through a series of interviews, and then um, I'm now proud to be the first trainee to be appointed by Jensen Production. What really got my attention was the format in which the interview was carried out, where they were trying to find out exactly what, what your makeup is, how your mind works, who you are, not really what you, you had at the moment. Being chosen for the Jensen program in one word, excited, in more than one word, I think I'd consider myself um, very grateful and very lucky for such an opportunity. It makes me hopeful for the future and the vast possibilities that lay ahead. My name is Doc Agboche. I started my training program in August 2015. I applied and this was a competitive selection process. I'm being trained for the position of a, an operations engineer. My role is taking part in the reviewing of contract documents, visiting shipyards, which I really find interesting because it gives me an overview of my future job. My current training position is in onshore operations engineering, which is basically providing support for the offshore FPSO unit. I've been trained to handle the controls and automation systems on board the FPSO when it starts in full scale. As a trainee engineer, I was given the opportunity to design the operations base and I was really excited when it was approved. Seeing it under construction now, I really can't wait to occupy that office in two years' time. My first training location is here in Ghana. To be more specific, um, the Regional Maritime University, where we had some safety um, courses, like the Boziet, uh, that, that included first aid, yeah, the survival, and then fire, basic fire. And then uh, from there, we actually did the automation and control systems proper, like at Consbeck Maritime. And the training sessions we've had, both in Ghana and outside Ghana, in Consbeck, in Norway, we've had a lot of um, knowledge being imparted to us. It was an eye-opener. It was, it was all new things for me. Jensen has a very streamlined operation running. In terms of the people, uh, everybody is definitely an expert in their field and everybody is able to achieve a lot more than you'd initially expect. Most people cannot work under pressure, but this environment, you feel free and you're able to harness your potential very well. I'm very happy being part of Yensen Production West Africa and the opportunity they've given me. I've already had a chance to travel around the world. I went to China with the operations team to monitor the ongoing conversion works of the OCT PFPSO. Um, so far, I've been to the Regional Maritime University in Ghana. Um, I have been to um, Oslo, which is Jensen's operational office, along with a few suppliers in Norway, including Kongsberg Maritime and IKM Instratec. Um, I've also been offshore Gabon on the FPSO Allen unit. What excites me about being a Jensener is the confidence and the sense of responsibility management always has in me at the time I'm giving an assignment. Yingsun is a very big, happy family, and once you are here, everybody is willing to help you. Basically, you are working with your family, and you have the luxury to express yourself. Yingsun doesn't feel like the kind of job that you'd get up in the morning and be sad about going to. It feels like you're just going on another road trip or something, except you get to learn a lot more and you're earning money. Management pushes me to do more. A typical example is uh, when I designed the operations base in Takrade, being part of the CSR project currently ongoing in Tema, where I'm the technical lead in the renovation of five basic schools. It's basically all of us working as a team that makes us great, makes us achieve our aims. I'd like to say a big thank you to the Yinsen team because they've shown um, a lot of confidence in us the trainees because we're coming from mostly an academic background and hopefully so far we've been able to demonstrate that we are capable of doing the work.
it's a rare opportunity to get this correlation between the theory that we learned in school and what is being done on site. I mean, the practical experience, you are really getting it done and to solve problems on hands experience. I'm proud to be the first female trainee engineer for Yensen Production West Africa. And I see myself as a role model for upcoming young female engineers in the industry. Young engineers come on board, you will expand your horizon.